Hello everyone, it's Stevio here. Today, the John Deere dealership is bringing us something nice. It's big and it's green. So, we have to go and first we gotta pick up the bales while we're waiting for the delivery. So we're gonna go pick them off of our uh, straw field real quick. Cause we got to do some tilling. And we need them bales off to do that. I think we'll use our favorite favorite case tractor here the magnum just fits this bale stacker nicely I don't think this will take too long picking up those bales we don't have too many it's like we already have a few in the stacker and uh, I'll probably just leave these on the stacker so that way it'd be more convenient because I'm uh, going to need to give these to the cattle. They need some straw. There we go. Hopefully we could fit all these bales onto one wagon. Looking over the field, I don't know. We'll have to see. Might just leave them right here, right by our hay barn. Didn't realize I had this many bales. Only one stack of bales right here so we can grind them up later and put them into our hay barn. So we'll park this in. I know we're leaving a few bales on the stacker, but that should be all right for the time being. It's under cover. Park this uh, case tractor. We're done with it. There we go. Good old case tractor. Probably need to wash that up in a little bit. So now we'll go over to our 9470 RT, unhook it from the grain cart. The grain cart just barely fit in there, if you see. It's kind of tight fit, so this tractor worked out really well on the grain cart. So this is not the surprise, this is not the demo, but uh, need this tractor running around uh, uh, breaking up this uh, the wheat stubble or actually that's oat stubble there so we'll hook that up to the land all that all nice and broken up over here takes a little while to unfold and I think we'll just do one lap around here and then we'll set the hired hand off with it really like this land all definitely good looking good looking chisel it's not really a chisel it's more of a cultivator hay barn there. Get 
good little field right here. I don't know, I'm contemplating planting this grass also, just because of the convenience. You know, it's kind of convenient to have your grass close to your farmyard, just because the hauling, the extra hauling it takes. But, uh, I guess I'll think about it. We might just leave it into crop rotation. Looks like we left a little sliver of oats there on the corner. Probably not enough to worry about right now, now that we have our combines put away. So we've got a nice stream that runs almost completely around our uh, farmyard here. So, beautiful area of this map. So it, it runs around this side, a little bridge to get in our farmyard, and it runs on the other side of our cattle yard there. This is our back side of our cold storage, and we have our grain bins over there to the side. Nice little field. Almost around here. Just a little bit more. Looks like the, we got most of the straw off of here with the baler, that's good. So we did a whole bunch of sweet talk in the John Deere dealer and we got a demo tractor. This is a 9RX, 9520 RX with 36 inch tracks at I think 88 inch spacing so beautiful semi they have here just beautiful old tractor nice green paint it's definitely going to be used on the farm so I think we'll probably put it on the disc ripper so it will help turn over the grass we need to replant that grass and we also need to tear up some of the other crop fields so I'm definitely gonna get the horsepower used out of this green paint so this will be fun So, the dealer just pulled in, fancy truck they sure have here, we will help him unload this thing because we need to get it to work right away. Go. Pull this ahead really quick. Dealer I'm sure needs to get back and do other drop offs. Wow, look at that. Purdy. So this is a 9520RX with 36 inch tracks and I think 88 uh, inch spacings, little weights on the back. Looks like it has uh, six hydraulic hookups. Also PTO shaft, no three point hitch on this uh, 9RX. Starts up beautifully. Look in the cab here. Wow, that is detail there. Custom modding, it's getting it done, that's for sure. 
So you can get this tractor at Custom Modding. Just came out. If you're interested, get it good in here. All right, now the tractor's warm up. We'll back it up a little bit. Look like the mirrors work good. Uh, we will keep this running, warming up, because we need, it needs to warm up for its plowing. We better get this uh, dealer back sent off. Help them back up, hook up to the trailer. At least try to help them. Good looking rig here, by the way, dealer. Might be interested in it later. Oh man, we got it close to jackknife in there. Looks like we got it figured out. A little stretch of the hoses. Now we will get into the important part. In this thing disking up so we bought this new field we recently harvested it all now we have to go uh, cultivate the grass in and the corn so we're gonna make a couple fi fields out of uh, I think there's like four fields there so I, we need obviously way more grass for our cattle our feedlot. Got this hooked up. Doesn't look like, I don't know, maybe that's with this, uh, uh, I believe this is a 2623 uh, chisel or deep ripping uh, disc. So that's probably not the mod, it's probably the implement. Looks like our 9RT is already done. It's probably a little bit jealous of this 9RX. So we are going to go over here to our newly purchased fields. Definitely good. I don't think I'm going to trade in the 9RT for this really like that 9RT with coarse play, it does a really good job. Articulating tractors do not do as good as job with coarse play. Man, does this thing pull this with ease? I don't know if we're challenging this enough. So right here we're actually going to plant grass, so this is a very, uh, let's see, doesn't have very straight paths, so it just seems like this would be an easier place or field for grass. That is the plan. Get, go around some of these cop corn bins here. This thing definitely has the turn radius. Go around here. Gotta go around. We're gonna disc up this uh, field here. It's okay. We can still drive through the grass. We might come back and pay or harden that later anyway, so... Around here, yeah, so this uh, grass here just is kind of splotchy, so we need to replant it, get better yield out of it. On it easy at 9 mile an hour. Rolling baskets back there. So we're probably going to uh, rip this up, and then we're going to lime it fertilize it all that good stuff and then we'll probably cultivate it in afterwards around here 
tight turn at this 9RX makes easy. So I know there was a few versions of this already out in FS19, but they weren't the greatest. Not up to custom modding's ability, that's for sure. So kind of held off and waited till custom modding did up their own mod. Going around here. Looks like we kind of have a tree out into our field here. That's kind of why I, uh, I ended up deciding this is a good field for grass here. Really close to our farmyard. It's definitely got some some uh, wavy outside boundaries so it's definitely not up straight up and down so it's usually a better place for grass field you like to get your crops into fields that you can get crops in and out of very easily but sometimes we don't get that try to at least like we got a little straight lines here I'm probably just going to uh, basically go around like here unless you're planting crops you don't really always have a straight line like that so roll planting I should say oh, I don't really want to turn that sharp This 9RX doesn't even hardly phase it when it gets into the sod. Woke up outside in the rain today. Not a clue to where or how. Woke up alone, feeling blue today. What on earth? In cab view for you. Do I do now? Stole some clothes of a line somewhere. Didn't know what else to do. So we are back in our 9RT here. We need to take it over. There's a little itty bitty field that also needs chiseled up, broken up, turned over. So we'll take this over. I'm sure the hired hand is having a blast driving that 9RX. Working in the field besides. We're also going to plant this little sliver back into grass. There's a 9RX going. Makes pretty quick work of that field. Doesn't take that long to do. We're probably going to have to drive over the ruts of this field. So it'll be a little bumpy right here. Drive over 
right here. So this is a small little sliver of land in the back here. Believe we own this. So get this also turned over, replanted. Easy peasy. Just a little field. Uh, probably just get a few bales off this every time, so definitely probably not worth planting crops on this field. Not gonna get much. But I like getting high production out of my grass, so I just want to turn it over, replant it. I do like how this uh, map has all the boundaries of trees around all the fields. Really liking this field or this map. I'm really hoping that somehow this map can be uh, fitted with seasons. So we'll finish turning over this quickly and then it looks like uh, the 9RX is ready to go on to our corn stubble. We used a chopper head for our corn stubble, so should uh, go through that chisel nicely. So basically the head of the combine chops up that corn nicely. That way we don't have to run another implement chopper over it. It's pretty common uh, when I was uh, younger. I used to run a corn chopper. I always enjoyed that because that means back in the day you used to not drive fast through the field. So that would I'd rerun it at 12 to 13 mile an hour. So definitely cooking along the field. So different than running like six mile an hour with the implement that's for sure this will be a nice little addition to our grass patch beside it take long to turn over that grass go over here so I did harden the roads right here both my roads I think we'll just leave this parked beside the road for a little bit. There we go. I always like doing the outside boundaries, especially on these uh, non straight fields. So I really prefer, I don't really prefer straight fields. It's kind of why uh, Welker Farms, that's a really good map, but all the fields are straight and I realize that's uh, normal for the area, the Montana area, especially where their farm is at. So, but to me it's just, when you have curvy, fields it just feels more realistic so I am gonna play a few times on Wilker Farms map not I don't think I'll do a series off of it just because it's not a lot has changed since uh, 17 map so kinda like to do new areas Autumn Oaks was also in 17 but uh, there was a big addition from 17 to 19 so you got a lot more land the outside boundary of the map basically all extended so and it just really fits 
uh, old school map uh, start out or series start out that we did. It just seems like that's the perfect map to do it off of. I'm sure that's why you guys all voted for it. So, thank you for choosing a great map. So if you haven't noticed, we recently, Squad Farms recently went over 50,000 subscribers. So I know a lot of that was due to Grant, uh, Farmer Nick, and Tirebog. So I haven't been here for long, so I'm not taking all the credit by that by any means. So please don't be confused, but thank you all for come joining us on squad farms it's really an honor to be able to post on a site or videos on uh, 50,000 subscribers so that's a lot of people so definitely honored and keep helping me out if uh, you see something you would like or a tractor or uh, video just let me know of course I can't always do everything but I try to keep at least the majority of the wants fulfilled out there so definitely a unique uh, shape field this is completely surrounded by trees got to be doing I need to be doing more in cab work do multiple headlands on this field because course play works better on articulated tractors on headlands and up and down rolls. Looks like we left a few standing stalks of corn there. Just one heck of a intimidating tractor. Look at all that detail on that engine. Nice mod. up got all these fields turned over now so we will probably be planting crops in at least this field I believe these other fields we probably be putting grass in because we need 
that for our cattle. Just turn over here without hitting something. Very tight area there. There we go. Oh. Caught that lip of that road there. So I'm gonna definitely have to clean this off. Don't think the John Deere dealership would like it very much. They saw how dirty we got it. But definitely putting it through its paces. We need to to make sure it's up to par. Go by our little storage here. Get this parked. Over a little bridge. Don't worry, cattle will get to you soon. I think we'll sp spray this off quickly. So, thank you all for watching back here in Ohio hope to see you again and I will see you later in Ohio